Rugrats is coming back, and I don't know what to think about that. I don't want any trouble, Angelica. No trouble. I want to play a new game. Paramount revealed our very first look at the brand new Rugrats revival releasing this year. There are some mixed reactions to the new CG style, but other aspects have been praised by fans. In this short minute long sneak peek, we get a glimpse of Rugrats more than 20 years later, and it genuinely feels like the same exact show. The characters are as fresh as they once were, and seeing them again is unreal. When you have the same voice actors returning and the beloved composer back for new tunes, it's like we never left the 90s. On its own, everything about the Rugrats revival is cool. I wouldn't be surprised if this ends up being a really fun show, but there's a big problem surrounding Rugrats 2021 that not a lot of people are talking about, and I think it needs to be addressed. Can we talk about the fact that we don't really need it in the first place? Seeing shows return for quick cash is just the path we've been going down for a while, which is fine, but the case of modern Nickelodeon is a little different. Instead of just having one or two revivals here and there, most of the channel is now based around nostalgia, and it feels like we're living completely in the past. All that, Blue's Clues, the upcoming live-action Dora the Explorer, the upcoming live-action Fairly Odd Parents, and now, Rugrats. This was undoubtedly one of Nick's biggest cartoons of all time. Some people may call it the Spongebob before Spongebob, but when we're talking about if a cartoon is really worth coming back, we have to ask ourselves, what does this bring to the table that the original didn't? In the case of Rugrats, it's CG. That's new and different, true, but fundamentally, this is the same exact show as before. On the other side of things, one of the best ideas for a return is heading back into the world of Avatar The Last Airbender. Nick recently revealed Avatar Studios and a ton of new projects on the way. That's how banking on nostalgia can be incredible, because they're different stories that haven't been told before. Meanwhile, Rugrats is still Rugrats. Nothing has changed, and nothing will change. The original run gave us more than 150 episodes along with spin-offs and movies. It feels like there's very little territory they can cross that hasn't already been done before. And again, I don't have a problem with the show itself because it seems fine, but I still don't think it has a reason to be here other than money. Hello, I like money. At the end of the day, I hope the 2021 version of the show can prove me wrong. If they use the CG style to turn it into something really exciting, sign me up. That would be awesome. As it currently stands, however, I don't think we need this. Maybe my opinion will change, but we're just gonna have to wait and see. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.